hey, I am on my way out the door to take my two daughters to their knitting class that they have every Thursday. Thursday is a super busy day around here because we have knitting class. It's the day that Teddy and I always go grocery shopping. And I'm also going to be doing a library run. I have a bunch of books um, that I requested to pick up. So it's gonna be a super busy day. Um, I will go to the library first, then I'll drop the girls off, then Teddy and I will hit Aldi and Costco. He shops with me every single week, and so it's really nice because he knows what I need. Um, he knows where it all is, and he's super helpful. He's gotten to the point where he can almost read my mind. Um, so I love taking him because he knows the drill. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started and take you along with me. Okay, we are walking into the library to return some books and pick up a giant stack that I have reserved. This is on our Thursday errand day. Okay, we're going into Costco now, get my stock up on the things that only Costco has. Teddy talked me into coming into the book section again. I told him this time we weren't going to do it, but he promised we would be quick. We'll see. <laughs> We always end up having to rush Aldi because we spend too much time in the book section. So I set a record today that we got out of Aldi with only one cart because we only had four. And the total was $75, which <laughs> I usually don't get out of Aldi for less than $100, $125, $140 is about the norm. So um, today was awesome, which I didn't need a ton of stuff, so that's probably why. But um, it worked out well because we only had the one quarter. Okay, I'm gonna start with the Costco side. We had one of those days today where it seemed like not everything was going the way it was supposed to. There's Al on the floor. He doesn't get up for much. Okay, so I needed toilet paper. That was the main reason I ended up going to um, Costco and um, grabbed paper towels instead, which I bought paper towels last week. So now we have paper towels for probably two months, but, and I'll have to go to Walmart, but praise the Lord, it's only five minutes away, so it'll be okay. I got um, my girls each um, some of these Adidas jogger pants because um, they claim that they have no pants. Um, no comfy pants is what they said. They have jeans and stuff, but they said they want some comfy pants. So. They had those at Costco, so I got a pair for each. Got another big box of diapers. I'm gonna be potty training this weekend, so hopefully um, we can go longer without, longer between buying diapers um, because um, the older of the two babies will be potty trained this weekend. So I got these <laughs> when Ted uh, convinced me to go over the book aisle. I can't ever walk away without buying something, but they had the, this kindergarten and preschool box, and it's basically um, like puzzle cards that you can match up, and I thought that this looked like something that would be really fun to do with my little guys, with my two, three, and five-year-olds. So I got two of those. Had to get more dish soap. Had to get my husband... The beer that he likes there's one more I think it must still be in the van um, another can of peanuts we go through these peanuts like crazy and they really are a good price at Costco I think that this was only like $4.99 for the extra large ones um, so we buy a can probably once a week um, had to get some more raisins we use those in oatmeal um, Ryan really loves the um, the kale salad that they have at Costco he has a thing about um, wilty lettuce. <laughs> he doesn't like it at all, which nobody really does, but Ryan is particularly vocal about the crispness of his lettuce. So he really does like the kale salad because it stays, um, it's kale and Brussels sprout, so it stays crispy and fresh a lot longer. Um, they have these really cute succulents. They're actually pretty big for a succulent, and I am not really very good at all at keeping plants alive but i've had a few succulents in my kitchen window that i've kept alive for like two years they don't look great to be honest but they are still alive so i figured i would add to my collection um bagels i buy bagels um and we have those once a week for breakfast um i had to get more ketchup we go through ketchup like nobody's business i'm sure all big families can relate to that and this is the um this is the cereal that i buy we only have cereal on Sunday mornings just to make church easier. Um, 
and this has lower sugar um, than most plus some fiber um, so I, I used to just buy whatever you know the cheap stuff at Aldi but that stuff has so much sugar in it and the kids would be bouncing off the wall and that doesn't seem fair to the Sunday school teachers to sugar them up and then be like have fun <laughs> so um, I started buying these oatmeal squares and we buy one of these big boxes and go through it like in a week Okay, let's go over now to the Aldi side. Aldi's produce was super picked over. So I, that's probably one of the reasons I was able to get away with only having one cart because normally I have a cart mainly just full of produce. Um, so potatoes, the price is back down, praise the Lord. It had been, I think, $3.49 for a 10 pound bag and it's back down to $1.79, so I was super excited. I did not actually need potatoes, but we eat a lot of potatoes. I think I've said that before. Um, I think I still have two bags, um, but I went ahead and grabbed two more because we have a snowstorm coming, so you never know. We might need those potatoes. Clementines, two bags. We use those a lot. Um, they only had two bags left of cilantro, um, so I'll have to get some, some more at Walmart. We use a lot of cilantro, and I'm going to be making um, cilantro lime rice and um, corn salsa and black beans this weekend. Um, which is also why I have the jalapeno peppers. Um, so I'm going to need some more cilantro than that though. Um, everybody loves that meal. And, um, so I make a whole, whole lot of it because then they like to eat it for lunches too. I saw this, um, creamy cilantro dip, um, at Aldi and decided to try it out. Um, I'm kind of crazy about cilantro. Um, I absolutely love it. So I figured we could dip potato wedges and stuff in that. They only had one loaf of my bread. We're, ha we're gonna have a snowstorm on Saturday and Sunday, so I think that that's why there was hardly any produce. There was, there were no eggs at all, um, and there was hardly any bread. So they had this one loaf. I have two loaves, and if Walmart has more, I'll get more. Honestly, my kids like tortillas more than they like bread, so and it's not really something that we use a ton of. Um, I got our favorite tortilla chips. Well, that's not true. They're not our favorite. They're a really good price. Um, my teenagers really love Walmart's Great Value Hint of Lime tortilla chips. And I think they're like, they're only like 89 cents a bag. And they are crazy about those. But um, I have a few that prefer the plain. And Aldi has the best price on the plain that I've found. So I also got three boxes of these little um, cheese it crackers. Um, just to make lunches a little bit more fun. <clears throat> Um, I tell the kids they can go through one box per day with lunch. Um, so that'll be, they'll have that for three days. Um, a few more of these, um, Ritz crackers. They like those too. I have started buying, they love these cereal bars and they're really not too junky. Um, you know, they don't have any high fructose corn syrup or synthetic colors. Um, and they, they really enjoy these. So and they're $1.35 a box for eight bars. So I used to get four boxes, but um, they give my children a lot of joy. <laughs> and they're really, they're not, you know, in terms of snack food, they're really not that bad. So I've just started buying a case. I bought a case last week and there was one box left, um, which surprised me. I thought there was more than that, but um, Teddy told me that there was just one box left. So I went ahead and got another case because for $1.35 a box, <laughs> I can afford to get that. Um, that's my potato wedges in the air fryer that just dinged. So I got this um, sweet and sour sauce because um, my husband and I went to Restaurant Depot and I did not film it, unfortunately. I'll have to make sure to do it next time. But we got um, some vegetarian egg rolls there um, to do in the, in the air fryer and he was saying that we really need to have some sort of a dipping sauce. So I got this sweet and sour sauce and I was really excited because it's pretty low in sodium. Well, it's only for a tablespoon, but <laughs> um, a lot of some of the other sauces that they had there were <laughs> really high. There's a peanut dipping sauce, which we love peanut sauce, um, and that was like a thousand milligrams for two tablespoons. So I felt like this was a safer bet. Um, four more jars of the pasta sauce. I really like this pasta sauce. Um, I used to just make my own, but um, this saves me a lot of time, and it, it the ingredients are really not not bad at all um there's no high fructose corn syrup in it it's 
you know, regular sugar. There's soybean oil, which I don't love, but it really does save me a lot of time. And I think it's like 89 cents a jar. So for the quality you're getting, I feel like it's a good trade-off. Okay, <laughs> I got this, this container of, um, it's supposed to be like Dawn. And I use the blue Dawn to get grease stains out of our laundry. Um, to be perfectly honest, to get grease stains out of my clothes because I sometimes forget to wear an apron when I'm cooking and I'm usually the one that gets the grease. So I don't know if you've heard the urban legend, um, old wives tale, whatever it is, that the Blue Dawn does wonders for getting grease stains off, but it is true. But <laughs> I've always heard the caveat that you have to use the name brand. And I ran out and I have a shirt with a grease stain on it and it's one of my favorite shirts and I really need to clean it. And I wanted to do that tonight and I didn't want to go to Walmart to get name brand. So I've decided to go up against the establishment and just try this out and see if it works. I have a feeling it's going to work. <laughs> um, I think that myth is probably perpetuated by Dawn in order that we all are suckered into buying the name brand. <laughs> so we'll see. I'll report back, see if it actually works or not. If it does work, then I've saved about 10 cents, but I've saved some sanity because I did not want to go to Walmart tonight. Okay, four pounds of butter. Um, I told Ted I only needed two, but he went a little wild and got four, but that's okay, we'll use it. Um, half and half, Ryan uses it in, in his coffee and the children that drink coffee also use it. I just use almond milk in mine. Six half gallons of the vanilla unsweetened almond milk. Um, and I also got, that's all from Aldi. I also got a giant bag of bird seed from Costco. I didn't lug that in here. Teddy went ahead and took it down to the shed for me. But um, we have tons and tons of bird feeders at this new house and um, I think the birds are hungry. So I wanted, it seemed like a good deal. It was like $13 for like 50 pounds of bird seed or something like that. So it seemed like a really good deal. So I went ahead and got that um, and that is all. This was really a light shopping trip. Um, you know, I just didn't, I didn't need a lot. I think I had a really heavy trip last week and that's probably why. Um, I can't imagine it would be because the children weren't eating as much. <laughs> that never happens. So um, anyway, I will grab my receipts and show you how much I ended up spending. Okay, at Costco I ended up spending $230.07, which honestly that's pretty low for Costco. Um, it's usually, between three and four hundred dollars um, every other week and then at Aldi seventy eight dollars and thirty nine cents I think I mentioned earlier that um, that my Aldi weekly trips are usually around 125 to 145 you know like I said they didn't have a lot of the produce that I normally buy I normally buy a ton of produce every week and they just didn't have it so um, that's probably, and I did have, you know, I had a good amount of stuff still. I didn't have to buy, I usually buy a flat of beans, but I was stocked up. Um, I usually buy a flat of corn or some other, I usually buy two flats of something, but I, I'm stocked up. So it was nice. It was nice just needing one cart at Costco and at Aldi and coming in a little bit under the norm. 